Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll continue messing around with the Ubuntu desktop here and installing a live wallpaper in the background. I enjoy having live backgrounds sometimes, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install an application which supports them since uh, they're really not supported natively in Ubuntu. The application is called Como Rebi, and there's a GitHub repository for it, so that's the first place we're going to go. And I'm here on the GitHub repository for Como Rebi. We'll go ahead and scroll down here and you, and you can see here it gives you some insight on what Como Rebi does and what it is. It actually comes standard with some default uh, animated wallpapers as they call it or live wallpapers. But what's more important to us is if we scroll down and I'll make sure to go ahead and supply this a link in the description below. So let's go ahead and take this easy route. Let's go to the releases page and here in the releases we can read a little bit more about it. But what we're more interested in is right here, it says the Como Rebi 2.164 bit Debian package is available. And that's exactly what I want since I have Ubuntu and that's technically Debian based. So let's go ahead and download that. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and uh, show it in the folder. So it's gonna be in the downloads folder here. Let me just make this a little bigger for you so we can see it. And now I have uh, Como Rebi 2.1, the Debian package. All I should be able to do is right click and hit the open with software install. That should open up the Ubuntu software center where we can go ahead and ins hit the install button here. So after hitting the install button, you're going to be asked for administrative privileges. Go ahead and put your password in so you can go ahead and install the package. And it looks like it's just gonna take a brief moment here and it says that uh, it has successfully installed and now I have the remove button. So the one other thing, like I said before, we needed to install a library from, uh, from GStreamer for these wallpapers to work correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a terminal real quick and let me make this a little bigger as well so you can see what I'm typing in here. All right, now that we got this terminal set up and big enough to see, we're just gonna do uh, sudo apt install and then we want the gstreamer 1.0 libav library. I'll go ahead and put this in the description below. That way you can copy and paste what library you need here. This should be the only one we need, I believe. Uh, we might have some problems later, but we'll go ahead and fix those if it comes to that. But once you have this in, you can go ahead and press enter. And it looks like we already have the newest version of the library, so we should be all good here. So let's go ahead and exit out. And I'm gonna exit out of a couple more things here. That way we can get back to uh, our desktop screen. And now when we're back on the desktop screen, let's go ahead and launch Como Rebi. So if we just search for it, we should have it here. And we do, so Como Rebi is available and this wallpaper creator that comes with Como Rebi is available. We'll need to use this as well here in a moment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and launch it. And as you can see, the screen has changed uh, quite a bit. If we right click, then uh, we have different options now and we can hit uh, change wallpaper or desktop preferences. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one you hit because it's gonna kind of take you to the same place where you can select between preferences and wallpapers in Como Rebi. If you quit Como Rebi, that's gonna go ahead and exit out of the application entirely. That way it defaults back to the normal desktop. What we really want is we want to be able to switch between some of these here. So let me see if I can find an okay one here. Um, maybe these lights here. So you can see now in the background, we do have a live wallpaper, which is kind of cool. It just put on loop and then we have this time in the middle. You can get rid of this or keep this if you want. But what's better is if we can add our own. So let's go ahead and give that a shot real quick. So I'm gonna hit the hide button here and then I'm gonna go ahead and create one of my own. So I did take the time to go to uh, Pixel Bay and find a few live uh, videos that uh, serve as wallpapers as well that I quite enjoy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those. So I'm gonna go to my downloads folder. So I'm gonna open up files and inside my videos, you can see I have a few videos here. Um, let me just delete that. And uh, what we'll need is actually a screenshot for each one of these videos in order for it to have a thumbnail or else it won't show up properly in Como Rebi. So let's go ahead and make those screenshots real quick. I'm gonna launch each of these videos and just make a screenshot of them. So let me go full screen here and this is good enough for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and once it's in full screen, print the screen. And now I have a screenshot of this one and I'm gonna make screenshots of each individual one that I have, so hello world as well. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. And I'm just gonna do print screen here. Exit out of this one. 
We got two more to go, so we got this HUD one. So you can see the ones that I'm using here. They're kind of cool, at least in my opinion. And we're gonna check them out here in a moment. So there we go, this one as well. And finally, the last one we need is this neon one. This one's kind of trippy. So let me print a screenshot there too. All right, that should be good enough. We're gonna exit out of these. Now you've seen my uh, wallpapers, so it's gonna be exciting to get them on the background actually of the desktop. Next, I'm gonna to go to pictures because that's where the screenshots would be saved. I'm just gonna rename these real quick uh, to correlate with the videos. So uh, neon here, rename this to neon. And then we have, what other one? Hello world. So I believe this is hello world here. Just gonna keep it all together. And we have HUD HUD, rename this one to HUD. And finally, chain. So I believe this one is chain. It doesn't really matter right now. But once we have these named, we can go ahead and create the wallpapers for Como Rebbi. So let's go ahead and show our applications again. If we just type in uh, wallpaper, we get this wallpaper creator here for Como Rebbi. And the first thing we need to do is give a name. So let's do hello world for our wallpaper name and then select my wallpaper is, and then change it to a video. Now you can also add a web page, which is really cool because you can get live updates on web pages in your background, as well as an image, but uh, a video is what we're interested in right now. Then next, it's gonna ask you where the video is located, and we had saved this in our videos folder, so let's go there and select um, whichever one you want, but uh, let's go ahead and start with Hello World as the first one, at least for me. I want to check that one out. It's very simple. Next, it asks me where the thumbnail is located. So we made thumbnails, and those are in uh, the pictures directory for me. And since we're using Hello World, I'm going to select Hello World as the thumbnail and hit Next. Next, you get to decide whether or not you want to show the date and time on the wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead and hide this. And the rest of the next, we get to select whether we want to display the date or date and time on top of the live wallpaper. I don't care for this because I already have it on the desktop screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and say hide the date and time. The rest of uh, this is for positioning the wallpaper however you like. You can go through these settings if you'd like. Go ahead and hit next. And now it says done. But it's not all the way done because it says right here that we have to do one more last step. So we have to open a terminal. So let's go ahead and do that. And let me make this again a little bigger so we can see it well. And in the terminal, we need to go ahead and put this command right here. So copy it, and let's go ahead and paste it over to our terminal, run it. It's gonna ask you for a password since we use sudo. And now we've successfully moved Hello World into the correct resources Como Rebbi folder in order to use it. So after we're done, we can hit close here. At this point, we can go ahead and launch that wallpaper by hitting change wallpaper. And we should be able to select the hello world. And that should be it. As you can see here, you kind of get this little flickering and it just has hello world in the background. And this little cursor here keeps blinking. It's really cool to have these live background wallpapers whenever you're away from the computer and people come passing by. It's, it kind of gives it a little more animated feel and I enjoy using them. It's not for everyone because it does take up a little extra resources and there's really no practicality behind it. It's more for looks than anything. So another one I wanna go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and, so we can go ahead back to the wallpaper creator. So the next name, I actually forgot what the names were here. So I'm gonna go back to videos and open up the wallpaper creator. So we have it, so we have chain and that's gonna be another video. Go ahead and select chain and then a thumbnail for chain. Now hit next. Again, hide the date and time next and just copy and paste this into terminal once more. And enter here. Close that out. 
Let's create another one. Wallpaper creator again. And this one's going to be called HUD. We can go supply video, videos, HUD. And I just want to check all these out at once so we don't have to add them again. Next, hide the date and time. Next, again, copy. And don't forget this step because it's important. Copy and paste this. And add this one here. And it's not asking for a password anymore because we've already supplied it once. So it is, in fact, uh, moving it to the correct directory. Let's go ahead and uh, close out of this once we're done. And finally, with the last wallpaper that we want to add, that one is named Neon. And I'm excited to see that one. It might be too much for the eyes, but it's, it's a little exciting to use that one. Videos, Neon. And we're going to go ahead to pictures, add the neon one, and now get rid of that date and time. You can also keep that in there if you really want to see it in the middle of the live image. But let's go ahead and copy this again and paste in here. Hit enter. And we should now have all four ready. So close out of here and minimize this exit out of here and back to changing this up so right click we're going to change the wallpaper and hopefully these show up and they do so as you can see here we have our four wallpapers showing up so let's go ahead and switch it to this one real quick ah this one's pretty cool it's a lot better than hello world more going on here but i like it just as much very cool colors here it's not too bright on the eyes but it looks super cool in the background and then we have the next one here it looks like we're kind of getting some intelligence here. It's uh, pretty cool how it's just running through and uh, I guess we're going to wait and see how the uh, loop behaves here. So everything goes away and it comes back up. So this one's kind of cool too. Uh, this last one is probably going to be pretty trippy. So as you can see here, there's a lot going on. We'll hit hide here. Um, this one's very bright and uh, like I thought, it's a little bit too much on the eyes but uh, it is still really cool nonetheless. So you can go ahead and use uh, whatever video that you really like or enjoy and uh, put it on a loop here in the background if you like using Komarebi. It's a great uh, and free application to use here uh, and I'm using Ubuntu 19 to install it on. As you can see, it was a dev package so it can be installed on most Debian based uh, distributions. So I'm just gonna change the wallpaper once more here and uh, let's see which one did I like the most. I like this one the most actually. So I'm going to go ahead and hit hide again. Now if you hit this quit coma Rebi, that will actually exit out of the program. So as you can see, it exited out completely. So no more live wallpaper, which you'll have to do if you mistakenly do that. It's just uh, launch it one more time. So search for coma Rebi, and there you go. Your live wallpaper is launched. So there's an easy way to get out of there too. If you want to uninstall it at any point, you can do that through the terminal by using auto remove and I'm pretty sure it's in their documentation as well if you want to look at that. Well I hope you enjoyed this video of how to install Komorebi and get yourself a live wallpaper desktop and if you have any questions comments or suggestions please post them in the comments section below also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another video.